All right, so it is about 11.30 at night. I'm halfway back to Texas area, um, somewhere in the middle of Oklahoma, but check it out. Here's our new project. Looking forward to that. That is a 1986 Aero 50, which is probably one of the first real notable two-stroke scooters that Honda made. Uh, but I'll catch you guys back in the morning tomorrow once I can get this thing in the garage, cleaned up, and we'll go over it then. See ya. That's a good picture. I made it back with the scooter. I am at David's house. That's David. You might remember me from such videos. <laughs> as in all our videos. <laughs> Let's go uh, take a look at this scooter now that I am back back in Texas. All right, well, here it is. What do you think, man? Yeah? Same as cute AF, dude. It's got uh, new tires. Um. <laughs> oh, look, it's got passenger pegs, too. Oh, no, that's the kickstart. That's kick the kickstart. Never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, the guy I picked this up from said that he could not get it to start. Uh, he was tired of messing with it, so... We're gonna see what we can do to get this thing running today. Um, maybe give it a bath because it's seen about a thousand miles of uh, of highway. On road use only. Yeah, on the back of my uh, SQ5. So we're gonna get this thing unloaded, um, take it up to the garage, the shop, the shop hey. give it a quick wash down, see if we can get this thing running today, and then uh, do a quick review on it. What do you think? I think it's too fast for my blood. Too fast? Yeah. Probably. I'm scared. All right. Well. Here it is, my 1986 Aero 50. Arguably Honda's best 50cc two-stroke scooter. Why do I say that? Well, if you are familiar with the channel, you know that I've got a 87 Honda Spree, which is fun, albeit probably the slowest scooter on earth. Um, think of the Aero as kind of the beefed up version of what the Spree was. Uh, the Spree was a non-variated 50cc engine that made probably two horsepower on a good day. Um, and that means, think of it like, you're driving a Civic and you're stuck in third gear taking off. And you're trying to accelerate and you've got no bottom in power and then finally you get in the power band. That's what a Spree is like. The Aero 50 utilized a CVT transmission which had an ever-changing variable transmission via pulleys and belts and that allowed you to get a lot quicker acceleration off the line and a higher top speed. So what we're gonna do today is kind of get into this thing, diagnose why it's not starting, see what we can do to kind of get it running. It seems to be in pretty good shape overall, so I don't see why we couldn't get this running today. Um, so we'll get right into it, and then if all goes well, we'll see what the top speed is stock, and then do a quick little couple mods to uh, get that top speed up higher. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get it to start right now, just kind of show you what it's doing. What about top? Yeah, so nothing. Thing right now at all. So what we're gonna do is uh <laughs> you're good man. No, I'm I'm good now. <laughs> you're not. You're gonna fucking do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. That was not. <laughs> so dumb. So you book this guy. So what we're gonna do? Go ahead and pop off these side covers, and uh, we will. Start tearing apart the fuel system, pull the plug out, see what's going on there, and uh, we'll see you in just a second. So first thing we can do when we're gonna check spark, um, we can pull out the plug, put it on the end of the spark plug wire, right here, and uh, we can see if we got spark out of the end of it. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the spark plug out real quick, and then we'll check that. Pretty good spark already. Can you see that? I think so, yeah. It's hard to tell, but yeah. Yeah. Well, she's sparking, trust me. Whoa. Oh, wow. The whole needles like come off of here. Wow. That thing is messed up, man. Let me get in there with the phone. Check this out. I pulled the uh, the needle out, and the actual needle clip has just 
like sheared off or something and the needle's just kind of resting in there. It should be sticking out of the bottom. Wow. Wonder if that's got something to do with it. So I'm pretty sure that that was what was stopping it from running correctly. So what I'm gonna do is take off the carburetor, start cleaning it out and then put it back together and it'll probably run. So we'll see here in a second. This is disgusting. Oh my God. I don't, know, I don't know when the last time I saw a carburetor this dirty was, man. Holy crap, look at this thing. It's absolutely filthy. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and uh, we will see you back here in a little bit. So the inside actually does not look that dirty, man. Um, yeah, I was expecting way worse. So, I guess we'll at least pull out the main jet and uh, see what we can do from there. Blow it out real quick and throw this thing back together real quick. Um, but I just give it a quick little rinse, so it's looking way better. All right. Whoa. Hmm. Like we have a runner so that's exciting uh just gave it a little bit of carb cleaner and now this thing is starting right up okay so we're back with this thing again um unfortunately last time that i tried to tune this thing and get it running um we were experiencing some issues and i didn't get enough time enough daylight to really diagnose what was going on so we got the scooter running and what was going on is that once i would get to about 15 miles an hour 20 miles an hour the scooter would bog as almost it had no fuel and if i let it throttle for a while let it idle i could take off again um so that leads me to believe that there's probably something going on with the float bolt maybe not letting in fuel or potentially even a bad pet cock not uh, allowing that uh, pulse suction to allow more fuel to fill the bowl. So we're going to take our time today and actually really go through this carb, make sure everything is cleaned out, and then try to get it back on the road and see if we can get any kind of noticeable improvement. As I was putting this hose back on, I just found a big tear. Look at that. That could have something to do with it. So we're going to go ahead and clip this hose, throw it back on, and take this thing for a test ride and see how it does. All right, so we got it back together. It's running right now. I'm going to let it idle for a while, go back through and set the uh, base idle settings with the idle addressment screw and the air mixture screw. So once we get that done, I'm going to take this thing on the road and report back with my findings. Right. Let's see how this thing accelerates, man. It's running pretty good. Alright, here we go. seven miles an hour top speed so let's get this thing back in the garage clean it up address some of these issues and then see what we can do about getting that mile per hour up a little bit so simple as that we've addressed the issue with this thing bogging down a little over 50 miles an hour 
I just took it around the block, was able to get it up to about 22 miles an hour uphill and about 27 on flat. Um, I only have a front brake right now, so I wasn't gonna test the downhill speed, but I'm sure it's well over 30. Okay, so let's go over everything that's wrong with this scooter so far that I've seen. Um, to start with, we are missing a few bolts um, that you won't be able to tell right now because I've got the um, side covers off, but we've got a broken corner light that is missing the lens. Did confirm I can get a replacement lens from Honda, but I don't know about the actual housing, so I might have to just buy one of these on eBay. Um, secondly, this thing has got no rear brakes. Reason being, because it is disconnected down here. So this normally would hook into a small lever on a spring that would rotate and pull the drum brakes closed. Fortunately, I've got some on this spare engine. You can see it back there. All right, next on the list, we have got to get this rear tire swapped out. This thing is bald, 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 looking like Agent 47 back here. So we're gonna get that swapped out. I did get some extra tires with this. Okay, so a few minutes later, we got the uh, rear wheel off. And uh, the reason there's no brakes is because there was actually no brake pads. So I grabbed a spare set that I had. We'll go ahead and throw these on. I'm gonna do my best to get this tire changed out and we'll throw it back on and see if these rollers, these brakes, all these improvements that I've done make any difference at all. Oh man, that's hard. That's hard to do without the proper tools. I'll go to a tire shop next time. I did one pass with my uh, Meguiar's Fast Correcting Cream, gave it a quick polish, and it's not bad. I'd say it's a solid six-footer. You know, paint is well over 30 years old, but looking pretty good, I think. Not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and take this thing back out on the road, see what this top speed's looking like, and then uh, maybe we'll take it out and get some quick photos of it, do some cinematic stuff, and uh, we'll wrap it up from there. All right, guys. Just with that uh, jet chain, the filter, and an exhaust. That's awesome. 